Garden Bird Identification by James Colton Narrated by Jane Colton This is a guide to some of the birds that you may find visiting your gardens. If you would like to attract a variety of birds into your garden, it is a good idea to offer a range of food types and fresh water. You could also put up nest boxes to offer a place for birds to nest and raise their young as well as some form of cover for the birds to feel safe in. This could be hedges or a few small trees if you have the space. When feeding the birds, it is good to place the feeders or bird table away from but close to cover so that cats cannot ambush the birds visiting the feeders and also give the birds somewhere to flee to if they feel threatened. Over time, birds can be encouraged to use feeders and tables that are very close to the house, offering you a good chance of seeing them easier. It is always good to offer the birds a quality mix of seeds and nuts, as well as fat balls and mealworms, which will provide a balanced and high-protein diet for them. Avoid feeding bread to birds, as this has very little nutritional value. A source of fresh, clean water for drinking and bathing should also be provided. This could be in a shallow saucer. The robin. The robin is the nation's favourite bird and one that is instantly recognisable as it appears every year on many Christmas cards. The robin is about 14 centimetres in length and has an orange red face and breast with brown head, neck and back. The orange, red and brown are separated by a greyish stripe and it has whitish feathers under its tail with long black legs and a small thin beak. Young birds lack the red breast and are mostly brown with a speckled breast. The robin mainly eats insects such as spiders, caterpillars, worms and other insects but in winter will also eat berries, nuts and seeds. Robins can become quite tame and have been known to feed from your hand. There are an estimated 7 million pairs in the UK. The blue tit. The blue tit is another common visitor to our gardens and is smaller than the robin at 11.5 centimetres. It is also one of our most colourful garden birds. It has a bright blue cap with white face and cheeks with a thin black line running from its short beak through its eye to the back of its neck. Its chest and underparts are a bright yellow and the white of the face is separated from the yellow by another thin black line. The back is an olive green colour and its wings and tail are a bright blue. The blue tit will regularly make use of a bird box if one is provided and in spring and early summer they are very busy birds darted in and out of the nest box with moss and feathers to build the nest and caterpillars and other insects to feed their young. The blue tit, like the robin, mainly feeds on insects and spiders, but in winter will also eat berries, nuts and seeds. There are an estimated 3.5 million pairs in the UK. The great tit. The great tit is bigger than the blue tit at 14 centimetres. The great tit can be distinguished from the blue tit by its bigger size and it has a glossy black head and thick black stripe down its belly. It has white cheeks, yellow breasts and underparts and an olive green back with blue grey wings and tail. The male is slightly larger than the female and has a wider black belly stripe. Like the blue tit, great tits feed mainly on insects but in winter will also eat berries, nuts and seeds. There are an estimated 2 million pairs in the UK. The coal tit. The coal tit at 11.5 centimetres is the same size as the blue tit, but is nowhere near as colourful. It has a large black head with white cheeks and a white patch at the back of its neck. The wings and tail are a blackish colour with the chest and underparts a pale buff colour. 
not as common as the blue and great tits, the coal tit will visit gardens and bird feeders looking for food. They mainly eat insects and spiders but will also take berries, nuts and seeds in winter. It is estimated that there are around 650,000 pairs in the UK. In winter, it is quite common to see flocks of blue, great and cold tits mixed together as they roam around looking for food. They may sometimes be joined by long-tailed tits as well. The Blackbird The Blackbird is one of the larger birds to visit a garden table measuring around 24 centimetres. The male blackbird is, as the name suggests, all black, with a slender bright yellow beak and a thin yellow ring around its eyes. The female is dark brown with a brown beak. Occasionally you may see a blackbird with the odd white feathers, but this is not the normal coloration. The blackbird's diet is mainly insects and worms in the summer months and fruits and berries in the winter months. It is estimated there are around 5 million pairs in the UK. The bullfinch. The bullfinch is 14.5 centimetres and is around the size of a sparrow. It is a plump bird with a big head, short neck and a thick short beak. Both male and female have a black cap and small black bib under their beak, a black tail and a white rump but the male has a distinctive bright rose pink belly and cheeks and a grey back whereas the female's body and cheeks are a pale pinkish grey. They are often seen in pairs and are rarely seen far from covering shelter. Bullfinches specialise in eating the buds of trees and especially fruit trees as well as fruit, berries and seeds. It is estimated that there are around 265,000 pairs in the UK. The nuthatch. The nuthatch at around 14 centimetres is around the size of the great tit and looks like a small woodpecker with its longish pointed beak and large head. It has a blue grey back and wings and a pale underside with chestnut orange underneath on its and on its sides. It also has a short tail and short legs and a distinctive black stripe running through its eye line. They are mostly found in deciduous woodland and mature parks and gardens. They will eat insects and spiders in the summer months and nuts and seeds in autumn and winter. They got their name from wedging nuts into holes and hammering at them with their strong beak. When food is plentiful they will often hide nuts and seeds in bark crevices until a later time. It is estimated there are around 250,000 pairs in the UK. Okay, well, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. And I just want to give you a bit of a background why I felt like making this video. Um, one of the main reasons is that I'm visually impaired, I'm registered blind, um, but I do have some sort of sight. And before I lost my sight, I loved all things nature and all things outdoors. Um, and I just want to point out that even though I I have lost my sight, um, I'm still able to have that enjoyment and still enjoy being out and about in nature. So what I wanted to do was make this video just to describe to other people who are visually impaired what some of the garden birds are like, um, just telling them the size of the bird, the colouring and a little bit about them. So that was the background why I wanted to make this film. Um, hopefully everybody gets something out of it and it's enjoyable to watch. I've really enjoyed making it. Um, so if you've enjoyed watching it, give me the thumbs up, hit subscribe 
and hopefully we shall see you in one of my other videos. So thanks for watching, take care and see you soon. Bye.